So as you guys already know, or should know, Roblox actually already patched fast flags. Well, most of them actually, and only whitelisted a select few. So in this video, I'm just gonna be pretty much showing y'all my personal best resets um for block strap or fast flags, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, and before I actually start off this video, don't skip this part. But if you are using the IXP settings method, which if you don't know what that is, it allows you to use like all the patch fast flags again. So pretty much bypassing Roblox's fast flag allowed list. So so I personally wouldn't recommend it because apparently it's actually bannable. Um which is why I won't be showing y'all how to do that. And I personally wouldn't risk it and wouldn't like to risk it. And I don't recommend it at all. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So first things first, you wanna make sure you have block strap, obviously. And you wanna actually downgrade it because block strap actually made an update where you don't have the fast flag editor anymore. So go to the link in the description. It's gonna be under the block strap label and it should take you to this website right here, this GitHub. And you want to scroll down until you see Blockstrap v2.9.1. This version still has the fast flag editor. So just click assets and make sure you click on the .exe thing right here and it should download this version of Blockstrap. Once you have it downloaded, you just wanna open it. Make sure um, Blockstrap is closed by the way. And just open that. It, it won't show this at first. It will ask you a few questions. Just keep clicking yes until it shows you this. Make sure the version is 2.9.1. Then click configure settings. And do this step. It's important to do this so you don't have to redo this again. Click block strap right here. And then make sure you uncheck the automatically update block strap. So, anyways, after you do that, go to engine settings, then fast flag editor. And it may ask you uh, or it may tell you something and it will give like a little countdown. Just click the red button after the countdown or the button where the countdown is until it's done. And it will take it to this fast flag editor. Now, leave this on the side. Next, you want to go to the main link in the description, which is the fast flags plus presets label one, and it will take you to this website. You're not going to see all this exactly, but you're going to see the right side. So pay attention to this side because this is what you're mainly going to see. Um, this is pretty much like my last video, except everything is updated. So yeah, if you want to check out whitelisted fast flags too, it will be over here, which takes you to the official dev forum, which is right here. And I'll show you the allowed fast flags. But um, that aside, though, uh, just keep scrolling down and you're going to see community presets. That's what you will be looking at. And if you want fast flags to make your own preset, then they will be below. And yeah, also at the end of the video, I'll show you how to uncap your FPS. I also have the timestamp in the description if you want to just head straight to that first. But first, I'm going to showcase the presets. So there's two different presets. It's based on preference, by the way. I don't really recommend either or. So first one is the main slash balance presets. If you want balanced graphics, so like if you want good performance, but also want to maintain a bit of your graphics, then you would go for balance. And if you just want low graphics, you'd go for the low graphics preset. So first I'm going to showcase the low graphics preset. Scroll down until you see this whole section. If you hover over it, you're going to see this icon right here. Just click copy keyboard or clipboard. If you don't see that, just highlight the whole thing and copy it. Afterwards, go back to block strap, click add new and I click import JSON and then just paste Then click OK. Then you will just click yes. And then just click save and then boom, the preset has been applied. All right, so we are in my quote unquote base plate game. Um, it's a it's a basic place, though. It's a starter place pretty much. So this is with the low graphics. Um, you're going to notice there's going to be no grass. The sky is going to be gray. Um, you're going to notice a lot of changes. And if we go to my FPS, I'm averaging like 400. And this is in a base play game with low graphics. So, so now if you'd like to use the balanced, you would go up to here. Just copy clipboard as usual. And if you want to change presets, control A, delete selected, a new. Paste that in and just save it. Boom. Easy. Now with this preset, you will notice that it's actually somewhat of a better quality and there's no grass no none of that. And with this preset in the base play game, I am averaging above 300, almost going up to 400 FPS, which is not bad for a balanced graphics preset. That being said, moving on to how to uncap your FPS. So you can go to the GitLab link and then you can scroll down until you see FPS cap and it's going to show you instructions. But this is the video tutorial. So here's how you do it. So first you do Windows plus R. And then you're gonna go you're gonna go into here and just type in percent local app data and just click okay then locate the roblox folder and go inside of that folder 
and then you're going to look for this file right here global basic settings underscore 13 and you're going to want to open it with notepad so make sure it's with notepad and you're going to be confused at first but don't worry i will show you how to do it next you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to look for frame rate cap um to make it easier for yourself you could just do Control f on your keyboard and just type in frame rate cap and then click search down and then it'll find it for you and in over here it should show 240 just replace 240 with 9999 and then just make sure you do file and then save afterwards and then last and the final important step don't skip this part right click on the right click on the global basic setting thing and then go to properties and make sure um read only is checked and then click apply and then okay um do note after doing this you won't be able to change your in-game settings so if you want to change your in-game settings make sure you are unchecking read only you would go right click on this properties uncheck read only apply and okay and you should be able to change your in-game settings afterwards last but not least make sure you are checking the caution or the side notes on each fast flag or preset as they may actually fix common problems that you guys may complain about in the comments so please read this first and follow what it says before you comment it down below okay please i beg you